Hey there guys, it's the 20 I'm back with another video. Now we are going to get another secret boss. It's not really a secret again, but uh, you do have to do a quest line in order to get to this boss, which is Green Cap Martialist. So if you're wondering about the music in the game in the background, that's because I was at the final boss and I just cut out to do some extra bosses so that we can complete the chapter and then get to the final boss. So music somehow is glitching out. But anyway, um, this is the way I'm showing you how to get to him. You reach the north shore of the Bitter Lake and then after that you take the path that I'm showing you right now. And uh, yeah, just keep on going it's it's a long path and uh, you just have to keep on running like that but this should be the door where you have to enter and you should be able to get the first instance or first trigger of the quest right so again I'm not fast forwarding just so that you have all the details Alright, so we have these three bats that we have to fight out. Uh, it takes a little longer than usual to fight them off because you know what bats do in the game. They just keep on climbing the air and then attack you and then go back in there. So it takes a long time to get them out. Towards the end, they really jump out a lot once they just about die. I don't know what the problem is with them. So they are done. Now we just have to trigger. Uh, wait, you won't take me, will you? I was, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being the hunted. You owe you my life, sir. I'll share the treasure with you once I find it. Say, why is there nothing but Yaoguais in this so-called Buddha realm? Can I look to you to save me again, sir, if they come back? Green without, down to me sweet. Let with you a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? Green without, round and sweet. Let with you a summer treat. Where can I find something like that? Anyway, we just had to talk to him and um, after that if you watched my other video where I showed you the place where you have to get the old Jane saying why this is the same place, right? Uh, but anyway, I'll show you the shrine again in a bit once I take out, take out these two guys and like so it's three in total. So anyway, you get to this place and um, this shrine is called a uh, second evil. That's how the karma. So it's near that. But if you're not sure, then uh, just find a way to tell the karma, right? So anyway, uh, once you get here, you just have to talk to this guy again. He's gonna be here somewhere. Why right? just keep on searching for him? And you can probably listen to his voice as well. Right? To it took me a couple of minutes to find him, but I did. There you go. There he is. So first thing first, we need to absorb the stuff, right? And then after that, we save the guy. It's... 
It's freezing here. Oh, fire. I need fire. So there is some fire on the other side, but since he can't really move, we have to create fire for him. And you can use a ring of fire in, in case you have it. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there seemed like certain death, but suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Uh, don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. So one thing I like about this um, small cutscene is that the ring of fire will just keep on working on, right? So then after that you have to go to Broke Up Bliss. Once you go there, just follow the path that I'm showing you here. Right? And keep on collecting stuff as well. That's really good for you. Go to this bridge. You can ignore the side NPCs if you want, if you want to take them out, you can do that, otherwise it's up to you, really. I'm kind of like bored of taking out random NPCs. They keep on spawning him, right? Uh, this is one of the things I don't really like about the Souls type games, even though it's just a little bit different, but still. Is that random NPCs will just keep on spawning in. But I guess uh, that's a way for them to fill the game in, right? Anyway, you just have to jump from the cliff here. And then you have to look for this vine. And just go down. So the funny thing is, I actually came here once before as well while I was just traversing the game by luck and I didn't really find anything but I figured that there was some kind of a boss here but you have to do all these actions in order to break the boss otherwise he doesn't appear. And the spoiler is that it's basically the same Time guy. and again I tested you and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. <laughs> Still so this guy actually has some very really nice special powers and it's fun to fight him. Overall this was a good fight I would say. He, he, he had this uh, ring of fire type thing. And they, they would follow you around as well. I, I couldn't really figure out if you could attack it midway, but I just tended to just avoid it as much as possible. Just wait for him to spawn out.
But this guy is really fast, he just has to be on your toes all the time and then take him out. I'm still not used to using the Ring of Fire spell, so most of the times I'm just using the Immobilizer as much as possible. But if you're good at Ring of Fire, you can use that as well in this fight if you like. So this spell was kind of like a waste because he had these two blades or rings of fire following you around. But anyway, we didn't really take any real damage because of that. Again, he's got really beautiful attacks by the way. about done again towards the end he mixes up a lot of attacks so just gotta be careful almost took me down as our brother asked. Till we meet again. Then after that there's uh, this cutscene and you get a special power as well. Now with this power you can actually use your mana to uh, increase the strength of your hits which is very useful in some fights. easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <sighs> A nice ripe melon. than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. Binder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? <laughs> <laughs> 